I'm gonna float like a butterfly and sting like a bee. George can't hit what his eyes can't see. All of you chumps are gonna bow when I whip him. All of you, I know you got him. I know you got him picked, but the man's in trouble. I'm gonna show you how great I am. What's up, it's your boy Remus from Remus Boxing, and welcome back to the Art of the Champion series, where we detail and, uh, and uncover what the champions in the past and even in the current did to uh, get the level of success that we want in the fight game. So today's topic is going to be on Muhammad Ali and we're going to be talking about the unique, the uniqueness of that man that allowed him to still win despite him breaking every rule book in the textbook, right? So there goes the story of Muhammad Ali. Muhammad Ali, when he was coming up, um, I think when he just came out of the Olympics and was looking for a coach and a trainer, right? At first, before he actually found Angeli, Angelo Dundee, who he later went with, he actually went to Archie Moore first, who was the light heavyweight champion from the previous decade, and fought, of course, Rocky Marciano, and which was a tough, kind of relatively tough fight for Rocky Marciano until uh, Marciano stopped him later in the rounds. So basically, Muhammad Ali went to Archie Moore and wanted to train with him. And for a bit, they was actually working together. Now, I would say I like Archie Moore's approach because he actually puts in a philosophy of, of fighting that is very linked to like all of life. Archie Moore, um, I think he had him in his home and he was telling him to sweep up. I think, uh, I can't remember specifically the concept he was trying to get to him, but you know, almost like those old martial art artist masters from, you know, movies like the, the, I can't remember that one with, um, yeah, Karate Kid, that's it. But um, Archie Moore wanted him to sweep up and, and clean up and do chores and he was trying to link it to, to boxing success. And I can't remember specifically he was how he was trying to do that, but Cassius Clay at the time, he wasn't feeling it. He did not like it. He said, I, I didn't come here to, to sweep floors. I came here to learn how to be champ, right? And then you go to, he, he, he finds Angelo Dundee. And I remember there was a training session um, with uh, Muhammad Ali was sparring something and Angelo Dundee was there, who was of course Muhammad Ali's trainer by this time. And Customado was also there, who was Floyd Patterson's um, trainer and coach and manager, as well as Mike Tyson's later coach, right? C Customado was criticizing Muhammad Ali and saying, oh, he's doing this wrong, he's doing that wrong, he's doing this wrong. And what Angelo Dundee said was, uh, he said, you know, well, this, this kid, he just likes to do things the way he likes to do it, you know? And we see that from the fact that he um, didn't listen to Archie Moore. And we see that from the fact that um, he kind of did do his own thing and break the rule books. Because the way he throws jab, the way he moves around, there's just no one before done anything like that. And it was just crazy that he could get away with it. But the most important thing for us to um, look at when we, or the most important thing for us to take from that when we look at it is the fact that despite the fact that he was breaking the rules, he was still winning and he was still doing well. So the only rule or the first goal is winning. So anything that gets the win, we should do. As I always say, we do everything to get the win, right? So the goal isn't to do things in a specific way. It's that you take that specific way if it helps you to get to um, do the, get the win basically. So a lot of people have it the wrong way around and I'm, I'm not gonna go too deep into this, because I'm going to cover this like in depth when I start the mastermind classes. Basically, you don't want to attach yourself to uh, the idea of doing something in a certain way or a game plan just for the sake of, it, uh, of thinking it's the right way um, to attach yourself to, to that game plan, if you get what I'm saying. Because the ultimate goal in the end is to win. It's just to win. Now, if, if that step helps to win, then good. But if it doesn't, then we just discard it immediately. So in Muhammad Ali's case, what he was doing was working for him. And he actually, when he was actually doing things the other way, it didn't help him. Again, there was another story um, of what Angelo Dundee was saying. This time it was soon after they got together. And I think it was, I can't remember what fight it was, but I think it was in one of the early fights where Muhammad Ali, he had his hands down and he was doing his usual moving and stuff. 
and he wasn't really getting tagged but it made Angelo Dundee think like what's he doing what's he doing this kid's gonna get hurt that's not how you're supposed to fight so Muhammad Ali came back to the corner and Angelo Dundee said what the heck are you doing what the heck are you doing put your hands up get back out there and put your hands up so what does he do like a good student he follows he goes back out there and then he starts um, putting his hands up and he's fighting with his hands up but now he's getting tagged even more right he's getting he wasn't really getting tagged before but now he's actually getting tagged and Angelo Dundee said oh damn I messed it up so when uh, Muhammad Ali comes back Angelo Dundee says what the heck are you doing put your hands down (laughs) and then Muhammad Ali puts his hands down does his usual thing where he's moving about hands down using his upper um, body movement and of course the rest of his history he he wins those early fights easy no problem right so the fact is you've got to find the way that works for you and attach yourself to what gets the win and what feels good don't attach yourself to the to to the rules of the textbook for the sake of just it being a, a common rule that doesn't make any sense so we have to appreciate the uniqueness of every person which i've discovered is basically the trait that makes a fighter great is his how he utilizes his uniqueness which is going to be in the, ne- in the next book which is called winning in style that's the um, whole concept of the next book appreciate the uniqueness that you have understand that unique traits actually offer a problem for other people because they've never encountered it so it's going to be hard for them to decipher how to actually go about it because they've never come up against someone who has that 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 problem that you're going to bring because you're utilizing your personal traits right and then the second thing to take from this is just attach yourself to the win and that's it that's it uniqueness and then attach yourself to the win so that's all i'm gonna say today stay focused let's get it keep telling yourself you're a winner and you're a champion and don't ever let that thought stray from your mind so i'll catch you in the next one can i dance is the pope a catholic